Oh, cap off. Hat on. Coat on. Time to go home. Oh, hello, look who's here. <laughs> Very nice to see you. I'm Mr Perkins. I'm one of the steam engine drivers here on the island of Sodor. And this is our engine driver's common room. This is where we come when we're not out on the tracks with our engines. Except I'm just leaving, you see. It's getting dark outside and I've finished all my jobs, so it's time for me to go home to bed. One quick check. Don't think I've forgotten anything. No. Cheerio. Oh, dear. Who could that be at this time? Hello, Knapford Station, engine driver's common room, Perkins speaking. So top them hat, sir. And a good evening to you, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I was just leaving to go home now, sir. Oh, yes, I'll be back at work tomorrow, sir. What's that, sir? You have a special for me in the morning. The railway inspector is coming very early tomorrow and you need me to meet him with Gordon for a tour of the island. Oh, yes, sir. What time is he arriving, sir? Oh, dear, that is early. Oh, oh no, sir. No, it's no problem, sir. I shall meet the inspector at Brendam Docks bright and early tomorrow morning, sir. You can rely on me. Good day, sir. I mean, good evening, sir. Oh, that was Sir Topham Hat. He needs me back at work very early tomorrow morning. Very, very early. Oh, I better make sure I get a good night's sleep. I mustn't let him down. Oh, dear, it is late. I'd better get home to bed. Although, it hardly seems worth going all the way home now if I'm having to come all the way back here so early in the morning. Might as well just stay here for the night. Wait a minute. That's not such a silly idea. I could make myself a cosy little bedroom right here. Oh, Mr Perkins, you are a clever engine driver. Well, I won't be needing these this evening, will I? Now, I need to get a few things ready. Right, I've had my bedtime cocoa and I've cleaned my teeth and now I think it's definitely time for bed. Oh, and look at this little bed. It's a special bed that folds away when you don't need it. The station master let me borrow it. He also let me borrow this night shirt and this alarm clock to wake me up in time tomorrow morning. So, I'm all set. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? I've never spent the whole night in the engine driver's common room before. Lots of days, but never the whole night. Everything looks different at night time, doesn't it? Ooh, everything sounds different too. Night time is so, so quiet. Sleep time, I think. Good night. Did you hear that funny noise? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Good night again. There it is again. Try one more time. There, what is that funny sound? Oh, I know what that sound is. It's an owl. Owls are nothing to worry about. Sometimes they stay awake all night, making funny hooting noises just like that. Engine drivers, on the other hand, can't stay awake all night. Especially engine drivers who have a special early in the morning. Now, stop listening to owls, Perkins, and get some sleep. That owl has stopped hooting, but I still can't get to sleep. Maybe I'm just excited about sleeping in the engine driver's common room. Yes, that'll be it. I need to find a way to calm down so that I can feel sleepy. What can I do that'll make me feel sleepy?
Read that one. Read that one. Oh, that doesn't look very good. Oh! This looks fun. The Little Engine's Big Day. Oh, yes. Just right to send me off to sleep, don't you think? Right then. Now. <laughs> Are we nice and comfortable? Yes, I think so. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little blue engine. Oh, he sounds a bit like Thomas, doesn't he? The little blue engine loved nothing more than puffing along the tracks, pulling important loads. He sounds very like Thomas. One day, the little blue engine was pulling some important trucks to the docks. At a junction, the little blue engine saw a big silver engine. Oh, he sounds like Spencer. Hurry up, slow coach, said the big silver engine. He sounds very like Spencer. The little blue engine didn't like being called a slow coach. So, when the signal went green, the little blue engine puffed away as fast as his little wheels would carry him. He puffed faster and faster and faster over hills and through tunnels. Steam puffed from his funnel and his pistons puffed faster than ever. I'll show him, puffed the little blue engine. The little blue engine raced around a corner, but he was going too fast and came right off the tracks. Oh no, what's going to happen? Luckily, no one was hurt. Phew. Soon, the little blue engine was back on the tracks. The big silver engine puffed past. Hello, slow coach. But this time, the little blue engine didn't listen to the big silver engine and he puffed carefully to the docks. Well done, little blue engine. You are really useful, said the dock manager. The little blue engine tooted with pride. Well, that was a very exciting story. I don't feel very sleepy, though. I feel more awake than before. I'll have to think of something else to make me feel sleepy. But what? Oh. Well, listening to music isn't helping me feel sleepy either. If I don't get to sleep soon, it'll be morning. And I'll have to go to work without having had any sleep at all, and that would not be good. No. Oh, oh maybe I should try counting sheep. Right, sheep. Oh, there aren't any sheep in here. Well, it is an engine driver's common room, not a farmer's field. <laughs> so, what's in a, an engine driver's common room that I can count? Oh, I know. Engine drivers. I'll count engine drivers. One. Oh. Well, there aren't any others. <laughs> oh, I think I need to count something that there's lots of. Pictures. There are lots of pictures. I'll count those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think I'm feeling sleepy. Quick. Oh, I'm still wide awake. Oh, how am I going to get to sleep? Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Dear, oh, dear. Don't think I'm ever going to feel sleepy. I'll just have to stay awake until the morning. And then I'll feel tired all day. So Topham Hat won't be very pleased. But I don't know what else I can do. I just don't feel sleepy. Oh. I think I can hear an engine going past. Sounds like Edward with a nighttime special. Makes a nice sound, Edward, doesn't he? I think I'll just lie here and listen to engines going past until the morning. Just lie here. And listen to engines going past 